And hey guys, so a few weeks past 2014 and you thought I was dead. No, I'm not. A few weeks past 2014 and we have resolutions and stuff like that. But there are some things that will never change, no matter how long time goes by. And as a Filipino, spending it like 15 years of my life, <laughs> so yeah. I tend to notice some habits, unique Filipino habits that we do almost every day, but we don't realize that we do it. And it's uniquely Filipino. So I'm gonna share you some <laughs> unique, at the same time, funny for me, or you might find funny as well, Filipino habits. Let's go. Okay, so before we jump into those unique Filipino habits, let's get rid of the obvious ones. So, one the po opo saying bayan po, doing the mana po, uh, being hospitable, harana, and much, much more. Now, let's go to the habit. Now, let's go to the habits. We were told that pointing is bad. So, as a Filipino, we found another way to point at people without using our fingers, which is our mouth. See? Like this. Para nakita mo bang ano? Yung baka. I guess there's some kind of duck face before duck face. <laughs> Next is it's quite common for all of us, uh, especially I think most of our guys. I'm not being sexist. Um, when we are asked a question and we don't know the answer, or in other situations when we're guilty of something, we tend to scratch our head story like this um, can I move a chocolate girl? we smile for no reason <laughs> next is when we're paying the bill in a restaurant or for food in a restaurant that's just the same thing <laughs> we we draw a rectangle in the air no it's a square it's a square a square is a rectangle all squares are rectangles. Not too much math. Yeah. <laughs> One unique Filipino habit that I like is that we have this universal name we call to almost everyone. It's applicable to everyone. It's not one or wana, but it's what? Or both? Whoops. Or psui. <laughs> psui. Not only do we have unique Filipino or universal Filipino names, but we have this unique term that we can use for anything or any something that we could ask someone to get, like this. Kung may yung ano? Kung may guan? Yung ano? Yung yun yun yung ano yun yun. And there's this one. We call it shades instead of sunglasses. And we don't use it as eye protection. You know what we use it for? <laughs> These things are not just for your eyes, but for your hair. And now it's your headband, like what most people do. The more you know, the more you be fabulous. <laughs> Another one is that we have this unique one-syllable conversations. And the most well-known Conversation is this. Baba baba. Baba ba. And yes, our unique sense of time. You know, Filipino time is like a clock that is very. Late. <laughs> Example, you say, let's meet up at 8, we'll arrive at 9, or 8.30, 10. 
but some don't even show up. Well guys, that's all for today and I hope you liked it. You know, I'm kind of remixing the business. Remix. <laughs> um, uh, let me know if you want a part two of this or let's say a continued, continued episode of this video. And be sure to leave a thumbs up and comment below on what Filipino habit you like best or what we're well known for. And, and most of all, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching guys. That did not close the lens. Good, good.